<laughs> so Jesse says, can you show off a group trick with color source and why you would use it? So groups are, everyone says, are broken inside of OBS. They're kind of... Ah, uh, but they're not, okay? So groups uh, are not broken because a group inside of OBS is classed as a scene. But if you just create a group, there is no size bounds to the group, okay? This group, I can try and resize it, nothing's gonna happen. It's not gonna do anything, okay? So what we need to do is define how big we want that group to be. And I wish you could just define it in its settings by using a bounding box, but that doesn't really work either. So my way of creating a, a size of it is use a source that's not gonna use very many resources on your PC, you can just do a, a color source. So I'm gonna add a new source, I'm gonna add a color source, okay? And this color source, we'll call it color source, I'll call it group size. I, us I usually call it something like group sizer or, or something like that. It doesn't, it can be whatever size you want, doesn't really matter because we can stretch it to how big we want. So using the space bar and zooming out, we can make the canvas smaller. I'm gonna make this absolutely huge if I want to. Use Control D to center it. And then if I drag that into the group, that group is now as big as that, okay? And I can move the group around, do whatever I want to do with it. Never have to touch this group sizer ever, ever, ever again. We can even turn this off visibility wise and that's it. That's We've got now a basic canvas size inside of the group. So what I can do, is add whatever sources I want into there and start moving them around. So if I add a new source, I'll just do a browser source, for example, because it can be absolutely anything. Press OK. We've got a browser source here. We're going to put it into the group. And as long as it stays inside this bounds that we've set, because it goes a little bit whiffy, because we're trying to resize the bounds now. So that's when OBS goes, because it's trying to work out a ton of math. Even worse, if you try going to the left or up, because this point here, is zero, zero. Especially if it's using the uh, positional alignment of uh, top left. This is position zero, so it's trying to add pixels before zero whilst retaining the number zero. So yeah, that is already a headache to explain, so that is what's happening there. But doing this, as you can see, it's inside that group, you can add like the move source filter to it if you want to. So if I go to filters um, on the group, and we start adding move source to it. Everyone's like, you can't do move source inside of groups, it breaks. No, as long as you keep it within the bounds that you've set, it's gonna work. So I'm gonna choose the browser source that we've made and I'll get the position. As you can see, it's 4,525 by 2,873 on the Y scale. So it's got its position within this new canvas size that we've kind of created. So see the group as a canvas. Uh, so now we've got that position. If we do it, it'll move to there. I'm going to duplicate it and we're going to move the browser source to somewhere else. So click browser and we'll go put it all the way over there, shall we? Or even make it bigger if we want to. Look, we'll make it go huge and go there. And then I'll be able to say get position and we can move between those two things within that group nice and easy. But because it's in a group and it's already got that size, we can resize the group as well now. So we can make that group really, really tiny, get back into the canvas, and your little thing is still working inside a group. So groups really aren't broken, but they are, but they're not. But if you use that little method, trust me, you're gonna get so much more out of your groups. It's, it's like groupception then. Honestly, you get some crazy stuff going on. If you want more of this, this was Ash Live on twitch.tv forward slash Andy Lippy. Make sure you subscribe here and all that jazz. Put your rock with the stone. Bunch of love. Boom.